For clothes, I'm keeping things neutral. Everything for this trip is pretty simple and it can all be mixed and matched. For tops, I'm bringing one simple black tank. Two t-shirts, both of which are loose fitting so that I can also layer them over my dresses. And I have one light blouse which unbuttons so it can be worn a number of ways, including even as a belt. I'm packing one very light cardigan which breathes well and one jacket. This jacket is from Ex Officio, so it's meant for travel with zippable pockets and odor resistance. I'm packing two dresses and a romper. This first dress is very lightweight and summery. I can wear it alone or layer all of my skirts over it. This black dress from Ex Officio has traveled a lot with me. There's a removable belt which I can throw on my other dress for a more polished look. I also love the pockets in this black dress. I'm bringing the simple romper as well. This one is black, but it's lightweight and it breathes because of the details in the back. For bottoms, I have one pair of simple shorts. They're loose and really light and super comfortable. This skirt that I managed to find at Eddie Bauer is special to me. I've been looking for a decent one like this for a while uh, because it's a skirt. Because um, thigh rub. I like this one um, because it looks like a normal and cute skirt when I'm wearing it. I'm bringing this cotton black skirt to put over my leggings with the top because I don't do leggings as pants. Speaking of leggings, I always bring these. They're a lifesaver if the temperature drops and can be layered under anything. Finally, I have these really comfortable, lightweight black pants with the elastic waistband. What I love about these is that they don't bunch at the calves, so they won't leave those little stupid marks on my legs. And of course, they have pockets, which is a girl's most treasured of elements. I'll be wearing sneakers, one pair of tried and true Echo sandals, and these Sanooks, which are basically glorified flip-flops. I love Ziplocs. I use them for my clean socks and underwear and also for my swimsuit. Oftentimes there's no chance to dry it before it goes back in the bag. A few other details that I'm bringing are some short spandex. Seriously, if my thigh rub gets painful, I can wear these under a dress. I always wear a sports bra on the plane, but also during the trip. While I do pack some normal bras as well, this one is the most comfortable and it's important because of my, hopefully, workouts. I have one simple workout outfit, which I plan to use. So we'll see how that goes <laughs> this time. For the plane, I love to wear compression socks. It might make me sound old, but seriously, my feet can get so swollen and painful on planes. Also on the plane, I'm just going to be wearing this really light elastic band hiking pants that I have and um, with my most comfortable t-shirt. It's old and it's got holes on it, but it's so comfortable. All I care about on the flight is comfort. A quick note about toiletries. I keep mine in this handy Eagle Creek case as three compartments. I use the top one for little things like Q-tips. I put liquids in a Ziploc bag, which can be easily accessed at the airport. And the best part about this case is that it can hang, which saves bathroom space. I'm not bringing any jewelry or hat, and I don't bring curling irons or blow dryers, but this little headband can hide some of my frizz. For this trip, we decided to bring a few small packs of morning items that we usually end up trying to buy there. Peanut butter, instant coffee, which I've mentioned multiple times, is now always a backup for us, and some super grain oatmeal. We didn't bring enough for every day, but just some for when we need a quick bite. I've gone into more detail about tech before, but here is the case that we use. It folds out and keeps everything organized, which I really, really like. Two um, tech items that don't go in there are our Canon point and shoot and our anchor charger, which stays in my purse. We aren't bringing my laptop this time, just our phones, my Kindle and the iPad, uh, which we'll use to blog from. 
Something I've never talked about before is our document bag. In here, we keep a variety of documents like our printed itinerary, uh, car rental confirmation, bus tickets, train tickets. This is also where we keep our passports, a ripped out section from Rick Steves guidebook, our oyster cards for London, copies of our passports and important cards, some extra euros we still had, and some British pounds. I also like to keep a pen and pencil in here. 